So last week I had a high school reunion at my little hometown in northeast Oklahoma. And I've stayed in touch with friends back there all along, of course. Um, I met Andy and Beth years ago when I was going to school with Beth. And I've stayed in touch and told them I was going to come down and hang around the area. And of course they invited me over to stay and I ended up spending about half the time I was down there with them. Andy was working on his man cave the last time I was there and uh, he's pretty well finished it up and I thought it was amazing and wanted to share it with you guys and he said it would be fine. There on the porch there's a black stone grill under the cover. I didn't pull it out. It's, yeah, everybody's seen one of those. It's great. They've got a smaller one in the house they use quite a bit. Then they put the uh, TV behind that uh, cover so it keeps everything good to go. And of course you gotta have a Weber grill. I've had one just like that. They're really nice, I think. I mean, they're not a $40,000 big green egg, but they do a good job. So they've got this, this building here. They uh, purpose built it. It's not a converted anything. It's all new construction. Andy does tile work, which would explain some of the flooring and that sort of great uh, tile work in the in the unit. It's got a neat, it's got plenty of wiring in it. <laughs> got some great fixtures. Those can lights up there when I was there the first time, he was just getting the interior put together and it worked out fantastic, I think. Um, that corner over there is all built special for entertaining. Um, Beth has sent me some pictures of the spread they lay out there and it's uh, pretty amazing. They've had, I don't know, 30 or 40 people in there, she said. And it looks to look like some great, great times. I love the art on the wall though, Tony Soprano and the little Pac-Man arcade. Of course, it's a multi-cade. Got all kinds of different stuff. Andy's a Mississippi State fan. If you can't tell, I just thought I'd go ahead and clue you in on that. You may see that ever a few other places. There's his buddy, old buddy Elon up there on the Rogan Show. I like those prints. They're, uh, they lead a lot of color to the place. All the appliances are, of course brand new and marble on the sinks and um, dishwasher nice stainless nice open shelving shows all the barware and that sort of stuff and easy to get to and don't have to dig around for it um, it's got a great vent hood and a nice uh, electric range there induction type range I think or it's just a and uh, I think it's anyway, I think it's the electric range. We didn't really mess with that. I know she's got induction in the house. Um, that's one of the coolest things right there, that little <laughs> ice maker. Man, never run out of ice with that dude. Great little bar area. Uh, the place is compact and but laid out fantastic. There's all our little uh, burner sternos I think she called them they're basically chafing dishes and they'll set those out on that table there and keep all the stuff nice and warm and just everybody goes at it buffet style and whatever is out it's easy to serve a lot of people that way butcher blocks really nice um, big old Mississippi State Andy is kind of a football guy, and I never watch football, but when I'm over there, I just I have to because it's it's a lot more fun <laughs> with him with him uh, flipping through the channels and finding the good games. They've got those set up for people to charge their phones with all kinds of different cables. And I think that's a great idea because somebody's phone's always about to go flat, so that pool table is beautiful um, I was here a few years back and 
when he was getting things just kind of lined out for the thing and uh, for the man cave and he'd located that online along with the shuffleboard that you'll see in a minute and uh, we went and looked at it and he hired some people from a billiards place to move it so it wouldn't get messed up and it uh, it really fits in nice there you can see some of his expertise there that shower's huge about the size of a my first apartment and uh, that's like the coolest light switch on that mirror just touch it and it pops on or pops off I think that's just pretty cool um, the uh, yeah that tile work is he does that every day so it's it's kind of kind of first rate plus the floors um, looks like it's wood but it's actually tile too of course you put that all down had to order it in special I think it looks great so that's the utility room or the future motorcycle garage that you can see from the first of the outside view I've uh, got a roll-up garage door keeps everything nice and neat in there little multi-cade uh, reminds me of the first time I played Defender was on one of those little coffee table type games I really like it so this diorama was um, her father's and Beth Beth's father had that made I believe she said that was a cafe that he used to eat at all the time and um, he wanted to kind of keep a memory of it I know she's had it for decades I think it's really cool there's another one of the big old posters old blue eyes himself and that I should have plugged that in I know he wouldn't have minded it's a shack pinball game it's pretty darn intricate got lots of little spin overs and tracks and stuff in it and uh, works good um, pretty neat pretty rare I'm sure pinball machines are getting to where everybody's snapped them up for the man caves so they got some extra tables set out there and chairs for when they have a bunch of folks over it's like they can seat about another dozen there and there's the shuffleboard table I always thought those were so cool um, there was one at Granny's Attic, a little bar in my hometown that we used to play. Not real sure I ever knew what I was doing, but it was fun. And it seemed like a, you know, <laughs> seemed like a good idea. You just kind of count the numbers of the ones that were. Well, anyway, we'll go into that. If I was really going to play, I'd actually check the, you check the, the rules. So Andy's got all the helmets of the SEC and the banners. And I think he said he's going to have to add two next year. That SEC is an actual neon that he had made. It's really cool. Lights up. Works great. Looks really neat. And kind of panning over slow so you guys that know what, I, what you're looking at can see something. Great TV, um, great sitting area for the those big old honking recliners are super comfortable. Um, really nice cup holders and everything in them. That's that's really neat. That TV's pretty darn big. It's plenty plenty to watch. Lots of room in there. It's a nice open plan. Everybody can move around real freely and. I really like the way it turned out. I really think that he, they did a great job thinking it through and planning up everything. And here's a little Pac-Man multi-cade. So they got some stuff to keep the ankle biters amused if they people do happen to bring the kids. Although this is generally a football and adult sort of place to watch sports and visit and have a few drinks and kick back and relax but uh, always got some grandkids running around and it's not bad not a bad idea to have some distractions for them 
But uh, yeah, I think it worked out fantastic. It's um, it's uh, really really a nice space. It was super hot while I was there, and the air conditioning, everything kept up just perfect. It was really comfortable in there, real quiet. I think it worked out fantastic. Um, he's got a little one of those uh, lock those automatic well keypad locks. Really, really sweet. I've never messed with them before. It just Worked really good. So, as the weather cools off, there'll be some times out in the old uh, patio area there. He's recently strung those LED lights up. I know they they look good. It's pretty close, pretty close to the house, but far enough away that you know you're, you know, if the noise. If there's any noise, it might, you know, kind of tend to muffle that. Love that fire pit. That's got to be working, kicking in. So there's room for like two, two, six people out there, and then everyone can kind of mill around, and a couple more on the porch there. Great setup. Fantastic place. And like I said, he built that purpose built this building. It wasn't a something that he converted over. So. It's really nice. Um, put the pavers out there just in case, you know, kind of keep from wearing a path in the in the grass. He's, uh, they're really meticulous. Everything they've got is just super well taken care of and and neat and tidy. Great, great place. The land beside them there is uh, kind of L's around and it's. Uh, neighbors own it and there's there's some goats and sheep out there that make things entertaining um, I think they just put in some French drains to uh, to uh, or either French drains or they might be drains from the gutters I believe that one's yeah that one's definitely got drained from the gutter so keep from uh, getting water on the yard so much and that's that's gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to tell Beth and Andy, uh, thanks a lot for putting up with me. I had a had a really good time. It was great to have a place to crash after running around the area, and it's not too far from my hometown, so worked out great. See you soon.